Okay, we're looking at chapter nine, and specifically this week, we have three case studies to consider. Um, so the first of these is the commoner who could be queen. It gets into the royal family, and whether you're looking at uh, Kate Middleton or uh, Prince Harry, in any of the royal family members, and I'm not an expert in the royal family, so you can help me out with this. Um, I think the question becomes, what is you know so unique, or the, or the issue is, how is it so unique in the UK that we have this royal family and what does that say about social class and stratification in general? There's a lot of controversy. I've spoken to people um, when I've been in the UK about um, whether they're, quote, royalists or not. A royalist is someone who likes the monarchy and that structure versus people who think it's elitist and is outdated and shouldn't be supported because, uh, of course, there's money that goes into supporting the royal family. Uh, the second case study is turn of the century social problem novels, sociological gold mines. So this specifically is using literature and, and classic novels from the past as a means of understanding social stratification. If you look at the world of Dickens, Dickens wrote in the time in which Marx was doing his analysis. So you could use some of the classic studies of Dickens, say, and they don't necessarily talk about Dickens, but you could use those as a way of understanding social class and its significance through the different time periods in which these novels were written. And then the last one is the big picture, calculating global stratification, specifically getting into the issue of what uh, social stratification means in, in the global picture. I may throw in some additional case studies as well. For example, I was thinking of recently, um, and you can check some of these out on the discussion board for the for chapter nine, but I was thinking of recently the growth of um, apps, social media apps that are for dating, but specifically they target um, certain social class um, standards. So maybe people, if it's in the UK, who went to certain prep schools or boarding schools, and then only those people end up um, interacting on those dating sites. And very controversial, I think, because it suggests that we are further tribalizing our society by placing ourselves into niches or groups um, separate from other groups just because of our social class or our place on the social hierarchy relative to social class or other forms of privilege in society. So a lot to consider this week with our case studies from chapter nine.